so I just I want to start just by welcoming everyone and say thank you for joining us today for this exciting announcement on electric vehicles. One of the highlights of being mayor of Salt Lake City is my opportunity to work with the community members like the University of Utah institutions and individuals really make a difference on leading the many changes that we are pursuing here, including sustainability. Our city would not be as strong or as vibrant without the University of Utah and all of the innovation and commitment they bring to making our community better. That's why I'm proud to be wearing my University of Utah jacket today. And I'm so glad they won over the weekend because I was on the verge of <laughs> having to do something Provo-ish. Anyway, you'll be hearing more from me soon, uh, but I want to bring up President Pershing uh, to say a few words this morning and um, get us really started. So, President. Thank you. It's great to be here with you this morning. I have nothing to say about football except that President Worthen and I had a great talk before the game. Other than that, I'm glad to be here to talk about electric vehicles. The University of Utah is committed to moving our campus toward climate neutrality. We believe that's a very important thing for us to be doing, and sustainability is a core value at the university these days. As the state's flagship institution, and also one of the largest employers in the state, we feel that it's important for us to lead out and to help in these ways. We want to be innovative in what we do, and we want to work toward making a healthy environment for our entire community. The university researchers, our faculty, staff, and students are working on improving air quality in a number of different ways. We are exploring the meteorology, we're working on developing cleaner burning engines and cleaner power plants. We were trying to understand how public policy changes can help us, as well as working on beh behavioral psychology. And of course, at the University Medical Center, we're worrying about the health overall. The University of Utah wants to be a good example in our community and how to do this. And we are reaching out to reduce our own emissions all across the board. The U-Drive program, U-Drive Electric, is helping us bring technology, new innovative technology, to the general public. And we see that as part of what we should be doing. Electric vehicles are fun to drive. I actually got to ride in one on the way down here today, and my friends who have Teslas are always bragging about how great they are. So electric vehicles are fun, but there is an important problem or important issue. You need to be careful because they go very fast, quickly. So we have to obey the, the speed limits, but they are great. In round one of our U Drive Electric, we had 76 vehicles that were purchased as part of this program. And now we are th thrilled to again be opening the program. And this time we're partnering with U Clean Energy and we're welp welcoming Salt Lake City to be part of the program. And that's an important aspect of the new program. We are also very grateful to our sponsors who have helped us both with the first program and now this new one, the George S. and Dolores Dory Eccles Foundation, Utah Clean Air Partnership, and Patagonia Outlet of Salt Lake City. Thank you very much for the opportunity to be here today for this announce, important announcement. Go Utes! Uh, thank you, President Pershing. It's always a pleasure to spend time with you. I first want to thank and acknowledge um, the University of Utah and Utah Clean Air Energy for allowing us to participate in this program. Their teams have done most of the heavy lifting getting this program to the point to the point we are at today and the Salt Lake City community as a whole will benefit from their work. I would also like to thank Council Member Aaron Mendenhall. Council Member Mendenhall has been a leading advocate for clean energy and air quality solutions for many years. 
She encouraged the Salt Lake City Sustainability Department to find ways to make electric vehicles more affordable for our residents and helped inspire this collaboration. The U Drive Electric Program represents yet another way Salt Lake City and other local organizations are innovating and working cooperatively to clean up our dirty air. The program's focus the program's focus on educating participants on the process and benefits of owning an electric vehicle and combining this education with a limited time discount will put more clean cars on the road. These are cars that don't have a tailpipe and can ultimately be powered by clean, renewable energy. This program also puts electric vehicles within reach for more people, something I'm committed to in all of the city's sustainable efforts. We need to continue to bridge the sustainability divide, and the city's participation in U Drive Electric is one way we're doing this. And we're doing more to clear the air, reduce carbon pollution, and enable more Salt Lake City community members to join with us in these efforts. The City Council and I recently signed a joint resolution that commits to transitioning our community to 100% renewable power by 2032. This transition will reduce our community carbon footprint by roughly half. However, we can further enhance the social, economic, and environmental benefits of this commitment by also electrifying on road transportation. From electric buses all the way down to personal cars, a transformation is underway that will clean up how we all move around our cities. Salt Lake City will continue to enthusiastically support this transformation. Our green vehicle program <clears throat> offers free metered parking to the cleanest cars. We are also investing more money in our electric vehicle charging network and will be adding and enhancing public charging stations at a dozen city sites this winter. Yes, you can solve air quality problems in this community and simultaneously improve how we power our homes, businesses, and vehicles along the way. From rooftop solar panels to the electric vehicles on display here today, solutions have emerged that are cost effective and that resonate with Utah values. Self-sufficiency, innovation, and healthier communities, these are all hallmarks of the clean energy and clean transportation movement underway in the state. And we're thrilled to be, to bring to you and to more people. Now I want to turn the time over to someone who knows as much about these solutions as anyone in Utah. Sarah Wright has been leading the charge on these issues for nearly 15 years since founding her nonprofit, Utah Clean Energy. She'll walk us through how the U Drive Electric Program works and exactly how community members can own or lease a clean electric vehicle. Sarah? So Utah Clean Energy, I can't tell you how thrilled we are to team up with the University of Utah and Mayor Biskupski in Salt Lake City to expand electric vehicle use. As we've already discussed, vehicles are a major source of air pollution, which is the number one reason I'm here today. So the primary goal of the U-Drive Electric program is to work with the community to work with emission, to reduce emissions that contribute to air quality and to make low zero emission, and zero emission vehicles affordable and available to everyday Utahns. So the U-Drive Electric program is offering a substantial discount on the purchase of purchase or lease of electric vehicles and it's made possible through supplier discounts and you can rest easy knowing when you go to shop for these vehicles that the U Drive Electric team has already negotiated the price. We have a variety of dealers and they're represented here. 
We have Ken Garfunde in Salt Lake City, Young Chevrolet in Layton, Henry Day Ford in West Valley City, BMW of Murray, CNG, um, CNG Utah in Orem, where you can get used vehicles, electric vehicles, Tim Dolly Nissan in Murray, and Ken Garf Nissan in Salt Lake City. So you can see we have a broad spectrum of dealers, and I thank all the dealers for coming together and putting in bids for these cars. One of the things that's a primary benefit of this program, aside from the negotiated price, is that you get to work with EV experts that are not necessarily out to sell you anything, but they want to empower you to make the decision to purchase an electric vehicle. For example, the You Drive Electric program has a website that has all the information that you need to know to purchase an electric vehicle at your fingertips. And the You Drive Electric program is hosting a number of workshops that, where you can speak to dealers and EV car owners to understand what it takes and what it's like to own an electric vehicle. And lastly, by the partnership with the University of Utah in Salt Lake City, the, pro the program is widely available. So if you're a teacher or a student at the University of Utah, or if you've participated in any of their events or visited their campus, it's available for you to participate. And now with Mayor Biskupski and Salt Lake City joining, Salt Lake City residents and individuals that regularly do business um, or visit Salt Lake City are also available to participate, can also participate. And participating in the program couldn't be easier. You can visit U Drive Electric program where you can sign up for the web for the um, workshops. And also the important thing about this program is that you need a discount code. And you can get that through the website or you can get that through the workshops. And we all play a role in improving Utah's air quality. And I can't say enough how thrilled I and Utah Clean Energy are to be partnering with the, or to be teaming up with the University of Utah and Salt Lake City to make this program so widely available to increase the number of electric vehicles on our roads and improve our air quality. So thank you very much.